Basketball started as a game to play in hockey during the winter of 1991. And like almost every sport, it didn't come from other game or pastime. It was literally came from the imagination of one person. That was Dr. James Nesmith. Uh, he was a well-recognized person. And, um, from the subjects that range from gymnastics to hygiene. The game will be nothing without the ball, the basketball. Uh, the ball is one of the many pieces of equipment used to play basketball. Many people don't know that the ball acts the way it does. Okay, Mr. Nizzler, um, if a ball is bigger than another, would it bounce higher or would it not? Uh, it depends on uh, a lot on the ball. What makes the ball bounce is the pressure inside and what the material that it's made of. So you could have uh, a tennis ball and a golf ball, both, are which, both of which are smaller than a basketball, for example. But if you bounce a basketball and you bounce a tennis ball, they might bounce the same height off of off of white concrete, but you bounce a golf ball, it's going to bounce up a lot higher. So it, it uh, really depends on what the ball is made of uh, and what the, if it's uh, air filled and what the pressure on the inside is, uh, those kinds of things, because that determines how high it's going to bounce. Does that ball won't bounce? Another question, if you fill the ball with helium, oxygen, or hydrogen, and how would it affect the uh, weight balance? Helium, hydrogen, and oxygen. Uh, all different gases have a different, uh, have different uh, density to them. And the higher on the uh, periodic table of the gas is, the more, the heavier it gets. So, Hydrogen is the lightest of all the gases, then helium, then nitrogen comes before oxygen. Air that we breathe is mostly nitrogen. It has about 8% oxygen. Okay? So what that means is that with these lighter gases, when you put a lighter gas in a ball, it's going to make the ball lighter. Just like when you put hydrogen or helium on a balloon, it floats. But if you put oxygen or air in it, it doesn't float. Okay? Same thing would be true if you filled it a ball with. If you fill the ball with hydrogen or helium, they're going to bounce a lot higher because they're going to be a whole lot lighter. If you filled it with oxygen, it's going to bounce not as high because oxygen is heavier than nitrogen and it's not going to bounce up as much. Yeah. Okay. So, can, you, can you explain why does the ball bounce? Yeah. Um, basically, if we're talking about specifically a, a, bas a basketball because uh, that's a little different than a golf ball because a golf ball is solid inside, a basketball it is hollow inside, it's filled with air. When a ball bounces, first of all, you've got air pressure in here and that air pressure is every place uh, pushing against the walls of the ball and that makes the ball round okay? because the pressure is equal in all directions. When you bounce the ball and it exerts a force, it causes the ball to, to compress on one side. That increases the pressure in all of these directions. <clears throat> it wants to restore itself to its original shape. And so there's an extra force that comes down to restore that, and that's what causes the thing to rebound back off the ground. So, when it hits the ground, it compresses, it flattens. If you look at it in extremely slow motion, the ball hits the ground, the ball goes flat on that end. And then when it tries to reshape itself into a circle, it pops back out and then jumps off the ground. And so that's how it mounts. Well, it doesn't matter where you bounce the ball, like you know, if you bounce on grass, concrete, or sand. Or yeah, it does. Um, this, the rebound force, Anytime you've got uh, the ball hitting the ground, the, you've got two forces. Newton's 
Newton's uh, third law says that for every action there's an equal and opposite reaction. That means that all forces act in pairs. So when this ball hits the ground, the ground pushes back on the ball with an equal force. Okay? Now, depending on what that surface is, some surfaces are more resilient than others. More, some are more elastic than others. So just like this ball collapses, certain surfaces collapse. Like grass collapse, collapses a lot easier than concrete, right? You can step on the grass, it collapses. You step on concrete, it doesn't collapse. Okay? So when this ball hits the grass, the grass collapses. But the grass doesn't spring back very good, does it? It just goes flat and it stays there, right? So, you, so what you want is something that springs back, just like the ball springs back. If they both spring back, then they spring off of each other, and you get a real good bounce. So if you think about concrete, concrete's not very elastic. You hit it, it doesn't really move. And so when the ball bounces back up, it doesn't really move. So you get a good bounce, but it's all the bounce from the ball. How about a, how about a wood floor? A wood floor, you hit it, it goes down and it comes back up. It's very springy, just like just like this meter stick. <clears throat> if I press on it, it bends down. And that's just like the basketball floor does. It bends down when the ball bends down, and when you when the ball comes up, this springs back up and it causes the ball to jump up off the floor. So a basketball court gives you better bounce than a concrete floor because concrete doesn't spring back. It just stays there. The wood springs back and the ball springs back and you get two things springing against each other and bounces real nice. And grass doesn't. And concrete not as well. Okay, well those are all the questions. Thank you for your Okay, time. you bet. Basketball has a lot of history and science to it. Uh, there are many things that affect the way the game is played. There are many invisible forces acting on the ball and player throughout the game. <laughs> like the stuff that we went through. Without the ball, the game will be boring and probably wouldn't exist. Basketball is a fun game, but oh, once you analyze it, you can see that you involves a lot of science. <laughs> now you have learned about the physics playing on the game. Okay, this is the handout. And you look here down number one and it says ball. So you put number one the name of the ball which is basketball.